Today is Friday, January 9th, 2015. French police have cornered the men responsible for the deadliest attack in France in 54 years. I'm Carla Correa. And I'm Stephanie Malconian. Do dinosaurs hunt in packs? The answer may be at hand. Your CSN News starts now. The Islamist brothers suspected of killing 12 people in an attack on French satirical magazine were holding at least one hostage inside a printing house northeast of Paris, and at least two people were reportedly dead in a separate but likely related hostage situation in Paris. Hundreds of French security forces streamed into a small industrial town 25 miles outside the capital in a massive operation to seize the men suspected of carrying out France's deadliest terror attack in 54 years. The suspects reportedly told police negotiators they were ready to die as martyrs. The White House on Thursday announced a proposal would be coming from President Barack Obama to make community college cost-free for everyone who is prepared to function for it. But administration officials provided no particulars about the program's costs or exactly where the money would come to pay for it. Obama planned to formally announce the plan today at a state community college in Knoxville, Tennessee. A nine-ton block of sandstone that was pulled from a Utah mountain late last year holds the biggest fossil trove ever found of the giant predatory dinosaur known as the Utah Raptor. Covered in feathers with a huge sickle claw on each second toe, Utah Raptor looks like a pumped-up version of the Jurassic Park star Velociraptor. The fossils might help resolve a long-standing debate about whether these predators hunted in groups. In the Jurassic Park films, velociraptors were shown cooperating to chase down prey, an idea based at the time on several predators that had been found alongside a herbivore. The new fossils may help confirm whether the silver screen got it right. We'll be right back after this. Are you interested in putting your skills to the test or looking for something to put on your resume? Skills USA might be for you. If you are a part of broadcasting, construction, photography, welding, or one of the many other programs at any of the schools, consider joining us. Skills USA has a vast reach in areas to compete in, so odds are there's something for you. If you are interested, see Mr. Allen at Columbia, Mr. Babcock at Nampa, or Mr. Miller at Skyview. So come on down and see what it's all about. You'll be glad that you did. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 41 and a low of 30, and tomorrow's high is 40 and a low of 29. Meals are due today. Please check our school website at nampahighnsd131.org or our school cafeteria announcement board for more information. The yearbook purchase deadline of January 16th is quickly approaching. Don't miss out on this year's incredible yearbook. A $35 deposit will hold a copy for you and you can pay the remainder when they arrive in May. Med students, remember to sell those med kits. Orders and money need to be turned into the athletic training room by today. Next Friday and Saturday, January 16th and 17th, the NHS Boosters will be sponsoring a red out for the American Heart Association during the girls' and boys' basketball games. There will be a $10 t-shirt for sale beginning this Monday in the Pro Shop. Today's SAT word of the day is electorate, a noun that means a group of eligible voters. You could use it this way. A successful democracy relies in large part on an engaged, educated electorate. That's the news. We'll see you again next time right here on the Bulldog Edition.